How is it that Mario, Zelda, Splatoon, and Animal Crossing characters are all able to race together in Mario Kart? Are all these Nintendo games actually in the same universe? Speaking of universes, how the heck did Mario and his friends get their hands on actual Mercedes cars? Obviously, we don't live in the same universe as Mario, so how did these cars end up here? Hey guys, it's Tricky Nick here, and it's time to take a look at 30 of the most confusing and nonsensical parts of Nintendo's newest Mario Kart entry on Switch. With this game seeming to be Nintendo's only home console Mario Kart game for like the next 30 years, I thought it was time to destroy Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with facts and logic. Let's do it. In Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, Nintendo added the 7 Koopalings to the roster, but somehow forgot Bowser's most famous child, Bowser Jr.? Then, in the DLC for the game, they still didn't add Bowser Jr. It literally took Nintendo 3 years to realize that it was probably best that Bowser Jr. was in the roster to begin with. How is it that when you bump into someone on an anti-gravity section, you get a speed boost? When I tried this in my Toyota Corolla, I totaled it. Speaking of anti-gravity, how does it even work? The cart's tires aren't even touching the ground, how does it somehow allow you to drive upside down? You just touch this little blue bar and now all of a sudden you can defy gravity? How the heck does King Boo drive his cart? He has no legs to push the pedal or the brakes, so there's no way he should be moving. On the topic of King Boo, why is he able to use the Boo item? He's already a ghost, so how can he be ghost squared? Why is it that the Super Horn, an item so powerful it can destroy a spiny shell, can't fend off a single blooper, one of the weakest items in this game? Even piranha plants are able to eat bloopers, so I see no issue with the super horn being able to work on them. Speaking of bloopers, how the heck do they survive out of water? They've never been land dwelling creatures in any other Mario games, so why in Mario Kart are they able to use the air to swim over to you? Why is there an officially licensed Nintendo toy of Diddy Kong from Mario Kart 8, but he doesn't appear anywhere in the game? Nintendo, either get rid of this toy or add him to the game. You can't have one or the other. If both Yoshi and Shy Guy have 9 colors to choose from, why doesn't Toad? We know that Toads have multiple colors, so it doesn't add up as to why we can only use a red one to race as. How come when you use the lightning item, it affects only the players in front of you? The whole sky turns dark when it's used, but for some reason it only causes some racers to be struck. Why isn't the Twisted Mansion course themed after Luigi's Mansion? I know I'm a simp for Luigi's Mansion and all, but this got even more confusing when Nintendo literally added added a Luigi's Mansion battle course to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like what the heck? How can Mario be racing as 5 different characters at the same time? Unless he somehow has mastered time traveling and being in multiple places at once, I don't see how this could work. This also applies to a ton of other clone characters in the game too. If the Mario universe has mastered carts that can glide through the air, why does Sunshine Airport even exist? Residents can just use their carts to glide to their destinations. Even if they fail and land in the water, the carts act as submarines too. How are the baby characters able to drive? For one, there's no way they have their licenses, but beyond that, they're babies and do not have the kind of cognitive ability you need to drive. How are the racers driving on this cloud on Cloudtop Cruise? It's a cloud, you'd fall right through. Are Mario, Animal Crossing Villager, Link, and Miis all humans? And if so, how come they're so vastly different from one another? How can the seasons change so quickly in the Animal Crossing course? On New Horizons, I'm forced to manually change the clock on my Switch, but here I can go from summer to winter instantly? Why would the hotel and water park be built halfway underwater? I get that it's a water park, but having the main entrance to your hotel underwater seems like bad business. Was this place abandoned by Wario and Waluigi, or did these two buffoons just cause a flood? How do Mario and company breathe underwater? I can understand some characters going without air for a long time because they're reptiles, but they can literally be underwater for an entire race and be fine. Speaking of which, how do the characters drive or breathe in space either? We literally see Toads floating with spacesuits on in the main menu, yet when a space race actually occurs like on Rainbow Road, no one floats in zero gravity or has any trouble breathing. Why are the dolphin carvings in Dolphin Shoals modeled after real dolphins, but the actual dolphins in the Mario universe look like this? It's really strange. Why is this Yoshi egg in Yoshi's Valley so large? An actual Yoshi is about yay big, so unless there's some secret Godzilla Yoshi Nintendo has never told us about, this egg seems impossible. 
Why is it that there is not one, but two F-Zero courses in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, yet there isn't even a whiff of Captain Falcon anywhere? If you're gonna add non-Mario Kart characters to the game and not include him even when his courses and cart are in the game, that's just blatant disrespect. Justice for my boy Captain Falcon. Why are the characters on the sidelines so much larger than actual racers? This looks so unnatural when you get up close. How is it possible that there's water in Sherbert Land? It's a stagnant body of water surrounded by snow and ice. Shouldn't it be frozen too? Why is Ribbon Road within a kid's bedroom? This not only hints to the fact that the Mario cast are extremely tiny, but that there are even giant humans in this universe. How come when Mario uses the Fire Flower and Boomerang item in Mario Kart, his outfit doesn't change, but then in other games it does? Why do all the characters in Mario Kart get along to have some light-spirited fun? Are they faking it in other games, or are they faking it here? I would think if these characters were actually together in a race, it would be an all-out war. Oof, well I'm all Mario Karted out for now. If I missed any nonsensical Mario Kart shenanigans, please be sure to let me know in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next one!